when there is a disaster. We believe that no one should be left behind. That is so incredibly important, just from a closure standpoint for the families and loved ones. We know that our dogs will find them if they are there. Harper came from a difficult situation. She was confiscated from a home in South Dakota where they had 22 dogs. It was a hoarder's house. Harper's origins are largely unknown. After being adopted originally in 2017, she was enrolled in training for bomb detection. While she didn't excel there, she soon showed promise for another scent-driven career. The Humane Society of the Black Hills identified that she had this high energy, super intense toy drive, and our recruitment team was able to work with them to bring her out for training. Right. Fine. She went through a year-long training program. Harper was just go, go, go. Go, girl. Get it. She had these behavioral traits that we look for. Dogs like Harper need a job, and so we try to give them that. We've created this game of them searching for an odor with their nose and then being rewarded for it through a toy. You start to see the insecurity melt away and the beginning of that search dog really come to life. There's a finite window of time that we have to find survivors that could be buried in the rubble, and then it will move to the recovery phase, which is where Ed and Harper come in. When we go to disaster sites, it could be a little hectic with a lot of hazardous material there. As a canine search team, we got deployed to Florida after Hurricane Ian. Our second major deployment was in Maui after the deadly Lahaina fire that they had over there. Same thing with New Mexico. Once she gets that command to go search, She's determined to find victims. The job that Harper and I do is not easy. You're watching these dogs truly go from rescue to rescuer. At the end of the day, we know we're doing it because we're bringing closure to family members. Harper's a hero because she gets the job done. Yes.